Well, first I want to say to all of you that tonight we've got good news and yes, we've got a little bit of bad news, but the good news is much more important than the bad news. The good news is that there is every chance that the Liberal National Coalition has won this election. extraordinary result. It is a stupendous result. It is a great result for Scott Morrison and the rest of the wider Liberal team and Scott Morrison will now quite rightly enter the Liberal pantheon forever. So, so of course it's disappointing for us here in Moringa. But what matters is what's best for the country. And what's best for the country is not so much who wins or loses Moringa, but who forms or does not form a government in Canberra. And tonight, we can be extraordinarily confident, uh, more confident than we had ever had any right to expect that we will have continued good Liberal National Government. <laughs> now, I have to say that once we had the result in the Wentworth by-election uh, six months or so back, I always knew it was going to be tough here in Warringah. And I can't say that it doesn't hurt to lose, but I decided uh, back then in October of last year that if I had to lose, so be it. I'd rather be a loser than a quitter. Yeah. Yeah. the fierce and ultimately successful campaign uh, that has been waged by my political opponents in this speech. Uh, I do congratulate Zali Stegel on what is a magnificent win for her, and I hope that she will have a long... <laughs> and, and I hope uh, that she will have the long and successful career as local member that the people of Warringah deserve. But I think we can see that there is something of a realignment of politics going on right around this country. It's clear that in what might be described as working seats, we are doing so much better. It's also clear that in at least some of what might be described as wealthy seats, we are doing it tough and the Green Left is doing better. But the truth is that if you believe that the most important thing is to raise people up, if you believe that the most important thing is to give people a better life, the fact that so many people in seats that might be thought of as doing it tough are now looking to our party for leadership is a great tribute and a great credit. few days and weeks, I suspect there will be a great deal of analysis of the part that climate change did or did not play uh, in the Warringah outcome. And let me just say this as my first word, if not necessarily my last word, on this subject. <laughs> Where climate change is a moral issue, 
we Liberals do it tough. But where climate change is an economic issue, as the result tonight shows, we do very, very well. Now, it's often said, it's often said that all public lives end badly, but I'm certainly not going to let one bad day spoil 25 great years. I'm incredibly proud uh, of all that I've done. Obviously, there are some things that, with the wisdom of hindsight, might have been done differently and better. But I've got to say that I can look back on the last 25 years, and I do look back on the last 25 years with immense pride and satisfaction. And I'm incredibly proud of the fact that so far, I am one of just four people in history who has led our party from opposition into government in Canberra. And I hope that the Morrison government has such a long life that it's a long time till there is a fifth. <laughs> Finally, uh, some thank yous. Uh, I don't believe that the Warringah campaign could have done more or done better. Uh, I think every aspect of our campaign was as good as it humanly could have been under the circumstances. I want to thank Peter O'Hanlon for his outstanding job as a director. I thank Michelle Moffat for her outstanding work as his deputy. And I thank Roger Corbett, a really great Australian, for coming into the team as my FEC conference president. I thank my staff. I could not have had a better, more loyal and more professional staff, particularly Sam Jackson Hope, for his wonderful work. I thank my family. Uh, Margie, you have been a wonderfully supportive spouse. I thank my children, two of whom can't be here tonight, but one of whom did a wonderful job of winning votes up at Lambie Heights School today. I thank my mum. Uh, we are all what our parents make us. So. And, and, I, and I thank my sisters, all three of whom were booth captains today. So. For the first time ever, uh, politics has finally become the family business, <laughs> just as I bow out of it. <laughs> uh, finally, I do want to say a big thank, thank you to the people of Warringah. Uh, I could not have achieved anything in public life but for the support that the people of Warringah have given me over 25 great years. Uh, my public life will, I imagine, go on. My life as member for Warringah will not. We need you back. But Warringah is the place I live. It's the place I will continue to serve. And I look forward to many, many more years living, working and serving in the greatest part of the greatest city of the greatest country on earth. Thank you. Yeah.